What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. messing around I'm making a video for go power sports on a, a live axle install and I was going to talk a little bit about the Yamaha TTR now I had ordered the carburetor for the Yamaha TTR now what had happened to the old carburetor was the fuel adjustment screw was seized up in the carburetor so I tried to get it out and had no success I kept just kind of like burning it up and then I took an easy out and it ended up walking into the car the side of the carburetor so it ended up i wasn't going to be able to get it out and successfully put another one back in there so i looked up the price of a ttr carburetor and they was like 280 dollars which is insane i'm not spending that then i went and bought a chinese carburetor that looks exactly like this now the carburetor is pretty much the same everything the the mounting holes are a little bit different so what i end up uh, what I'm going to do is end up cutting the sides off the intake manifold the sides of the screw holes Which you'll see it on video when it comes uh, When everything comes in to put it on and it should thread up perfectly fine Well, the only reason it's not on there right now is because I had to order a different throttle uh, the Yamaha's throttle Mounted in the top of the carburetor with two Phillips head screws and this new Chinese as you can tell from this picture It has a thumb screw, um, you know, kind of like a big thumb thumb screw type setup. So I had to order the um, throttle cable that would work for this carburetor. Sorry I look blue by the way. It's kind of late outside and uh, for some reason on my camera everything looks blue. But so the reason I got the Yamaha TTR, if you remember Skittles, I traded Skittles for the TTR. Now my idea at first was to pull the motor off the TTR and put it on a go-kart and have a little three-speed automatic clutch go-kart. Well, the only problem with that was the motor is only six horsepower. And I was thinking, well, I could run a dirt bike that's worth five to eight hundred dollars, depending on who you are, and build a pretty cool dirt or go kart. But I'm not really gaining much more power, even though I would have gears. I don't think it would be that big of a difference. So my mom had a dirt bike for her foster kids. Now, it was way too much of a dirt bike for them. This dirt bike actually would work out perfect for her. So after talking to my mom for a little while, we end up trading the TTR. So as soon as it's fixed, it's going to my mom's house for her kids to ride, which is going to be a perfect dirt bike. Now what we got, I'm really excited to show you, is the future build for a go-kart. Um, very soon actually. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what we got. So what we got here is a 2004 KX85 two-stroke. Now this is a 25 horsepower. 11 foot pounds of torque dirt bike and it is freaking awesome the carburetor is a little gummed up right now from where it's been sitting and the clutch is stuck so i need to pull the clutch out and separate those discs and uh, put a tube in the rear tire and clean the carb and it's perfectly fine i mean you can ride it right now it just don't want to go on the power band uh, it has a brand new jug on it someone just had rebuilt the uh, top end and you can see how shiny the jug is and how dirty the block is so we're going to put an fmf pipe on this jet the carburetor and then put a cone filter which should probably bump us up to 28 ish horsepower probably might be able to squeeze 30 out of it but this is a six speed dirt bike so that means we're going to have a tw you know around a 30 horsepower six speed go-kart now i don't know about you but that's going to be freaking sweet so i am pumped to do this build i've been looking for an 82 stroke the cr80s are about 21 horsepower uh the kx is uh the kx 85s you know like i said 24.6 horsepower so 25 horsepower um you know they're lacking in torque but i would say we'll get a good 70 uh to 80 mile an hour depending on how i gear the go-kart i want it to take off pretty good but you know we may have two different sprockets for it we may have a top end sprocket and a you know burnout and haul a to 50 or 60 mile an hour but it's going to be pretty exciting i hope uh Hope you're excited as I am. Definitely tell me what you think of the KX85 in the comments below. But Trey is on his way, so we're going to film him uh, on his new dirt bike. He actually traded that Honda. It was a 2007 Honda CRF 250R, and he traded or sold it and bought a, a KTM, 2015 KTM uh, 250 that's fuel injection, and the bike's freaking awesome. So uh, hopefully we'll get him jumping my driveway when he gets here. 
So I'll pull the camera out when Trey arrives. So what do you uh, what do you think of the new KTM? She's nice. She what, uh, very very nice. What improvements over the CRF? The fuel injection, the suspension, all around. Much better built machine. The best thing about her. little behind the scenes action um, there's the the welds I have done already on this um, live axle install on little red I think it's gonna be pretty sweet I end up building this whole rear section out of square tubing just cutting the round tubing off and uh, join it there so tomorrow I'm going to put some flat stock over top and underneath to uh, strengthen that I think that'll be fine but I would rather do that and know it's not going to break and then I got to flip it over and weld the bottom side of this and uh, I welded this on both sides I just haven't welded the cracks right here and I got to do the opposite side and then also weld the back sides of these I am thinking about uh, we're probably going to ride this thing a little bit and then take it and get it sandblasted what do you think about that so to get a fresh coat of red on it make it pretty yes all one color yeah not look like a project anymore also get all those stickers up and put a little bit of grip tape tape down there and i think i'm going to spray paint a red beard's garage decal somewhere on the floor i think that'd look pretty sweet um this is going to be pretty sweet man it's gonna it's supposed to run 50 mile an hour yes little red the evolution of little red uh the, you'll see this go-kart just keep growing as time goes on of course next will be mashing tires in the front uh, we'll get some tires that match those slicks in the front for sure because i hate those little pizza cutters and um eventually we're going to lengthen this thing we're going to keep it the same width and everything just extend it probably eight to ten inches longer and i think that would be uh 
pretty sweet and make your legs. I mean, I'm comfortable on it, but a long ride, you get cramped up. Yeah. You're uh, a lot taller than me, so. Yeah, I'm eight foot three. <laughs> Good <laughs> gosh. Uh, also, this gauge was popping apart, this uh, little RPM gauge, so I put some Gorilla Glue on it and got it clamped. And uh, so that won't fall apart no more. And uh, we also got a little surprise in that box right there. Not the rear view camera, but there's a little surprise in that box, but we're not going to uh, ruin that Feel surprise. That. And there's also a surprise in that box down there, but ah, right there. But we're not going to reveal that either. Are we? Got to keep you in suspense. Okay, YouTube, uh, I think that's all we have for tonight. Uh, mess around with this go-kart quite a bit. This took up most of my night. Uh, we had to, I, well, I had to cut the whole back end off because it wouldn't cut off when I started tonight. So, uh, yeah. I hope y'all been liking the little vlogs I've been putting up, kind of like the TTR vlog. Um, you know, that's what I consider a vlog, just us messing around. And uh, I try to get Lonnie as much as I can, but he's on four on, four off, so it's kind of hard to get a schedule to line up. And on my four on, I'm not over here. It's yeah. 12 hours and to sleep. Yeah, so he pretty much works and then goes home and sleep. I get I work 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, so I get home around 5.20, 5.15, 5.20. And uh, then I usually just come straight out here and start working on something, unless I'm tired from the night before, from staying up too late working on stuff. And then I take a 15, 20 minute nap, then I'll come out here. But um, I am gonna take a break here soon. That's why I'm trying to bust out a bunch of videos by the end of this week. Uh, this video will probably be up, probably on uh, Friday, I'm gonna say. I should finish it. Oh yeah, for sure, by Friday, this video will be up uh, of the live actual install. And then uh, the next video is, uh, I'm not going to ruin it. It's not that big of a surprise, but I like keeping my videos kind of a, a secret till they come out. Uh, so we got, over the next week, we got about four big videos coming up. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.